Hey yo, what is up, legends? Welcome back to High Q Day. I think we're up to episode 10? 11? 11 we're up to. Bro, how are we going through these so fast? Feels like it was literally just the other day that I started uploading and then I hit a thousand subscribers and I've been over in China since doing this. So it's going to be wild to think like what I'm going to come back to. Like, are we going to have hit 2000 yet? Or like, what's going to be happening? Because like, we've already got all these great people here that makes me feel like I'm watching this show with a big group of friends. Um, and it's easily the best part of my day getting to interact with you guys. But going into this next episode, I'm hoping we're going through to the training week soon and getting close to the training game because we fit, we've got everyone's back now. I can't, I don't think there's anyone who's missing because we've got our Libro, we've got our big spike and we've got our coach now, right? And we've got everyone else. So we've got this full team. We just need to make it better, right? So I'm very excited to see like how everyone, are we going to be working on individual skills or I know everyone's going to work on receiving as a whole. So look, bro, each week I keep saying that it, each episode keeps being my new favorite one. And I'm sure it's going to continue to happen for me, right? But we're just going to have a short intro today. So I hope you guys have been having the most amazing day ever. Thank you so much for being here with me to watch this video. It means the absolute world. If you want to leave a like and subscribe, that would be amazing. If not, totally don't worry about it. And let's jump into this video. Peace. Look, I'm going to the gym soon. So I'm drinking my pre-workout like a little Avengers cup. I think it's kind of cool. Hi, cute day. Training camp, yeah! Bro, I have a story to tell about training camp. It's his little sister that sounded like a, a one time on band camp. It's not that kind of story. Someone was telling me how far this boy has to bike. No wonder he's so fit. Look at that hill. Yeah, he's hype. He's got a strong team now. Please don't ride like that. That's so dangerous. Oh, this episode's going to be about the training camp. Ah, oh, bro, he's so nervous about getting to go. He always needs to go to the bathroom. Why is that teacher kind of like... A baddie, bro. Sorry, ma'am. Decisions. Ooh, okay, it's very close together. Ooh, it's going to be intense training. Mm, amen. Practice, practice. Hopefully, Nekama's much better than us. <laughs> He's already ticked that box. Stop showing me the good clock! Yamaguchi, come on! Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm not a starter. This is why. Yeah, there we go! Amazing. And look at... What's her name? Kyoko? I think. Sorry, correct me. And if I keep saying it wrong, it's because I'm in China. That's my excuse. Look at her there helping. Bro, she's so good. I hope I get to find out more about her. Because she's just the manager I see at the moment. But she must love volleyball. Because, like, why else is she giving up her time? Like, we haven't seen that she's dating any of these guys. Or, that, like, she's their sister. So why is she giving up her time to, like, come and help this group of boys? Suki looks like he's struggling here. And I'm all for it, bro. Daichi's gonna... Oh, look at that technique. That's how you receive a beach. I'm pausing it so much already, bro. What? It's the caffeine. I've barely had it, and I'm like, I'm so hyped. Do you remember last reaction, last episode, I said how I was scared to receive like this, and I have the mental block, and that because of beach, you can't really receive like that ever. You can, but I'm not going to get into the technicalities. But this... Wait. Boom. No! Why did it right-click? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Because... So you put your hands together and it's like an, it's called an overhead bum. Yes. See? So you bring them together and boom. Really hard to learn. Especially I came from indoor into beach. And so I had to practice this so much. Because as me as the defender, you do have to use it. And if they hit it really hard, it's like boom. You can take it like up there. You can 
like overhand setter, but again, I'm not going to get into that. But it's super, super hard to do because it's so easy for it to come. And because this isn't as big a surface area as this, it's very easy for it to just hit a little bit and boom, boom, off it goes to the side. Or like you take all the power out of it and it just falls there. So that's cool. They sort of included some beat stuff in here as well. More caffeine. Let's go, Hinata. That was such smooth animation, him jumping down. Oh, boom. No, the sounds of them hitting it. Let's go. I'm pretty sure Suga, his hand. Nope, I went to the wrong. I think Suga's tech. Yeah. Hang on, he'll come back again. Let's see Kageyama's. His are okay. I'm pretty sure that Suga sets and turns his hands out. Kageyama stays straight, which is what you're meant to do. Some people like overdo it and they'll like try to do this, which just adds like it makes you end up doubling or too much spin on the ball. But Kageyama's is okay. I swear I saw Suga. Yeah, see? I God, they're just. The fact that the two different setters have two different hand movements, bro. He's going and pushing all... Well, I'm doing it too extreme, but in and like going all the way out. See how his hands are facing out? Whereas it's just like, you just go straight. You don't go all the way like that. That's excessive. And it's like one bad for your wrists and two adds unnecessary spin. And see how my hands are like, it can easily make the ball spin out and do a double contact. But the fact they included that in here, bro, is ridiculous. He's seen how good they are. Oh, he did it then as well. He didn't do it the first time. Mm, so their offense is really good. No, Yamaguchi, you may not. Sorry, I just know you're associated with Suki, so you're catching strays, bro. Is it like a training camp where they stay overnight at the school? Because it's like just training. It's just a house, bro. <laughs> it is very exciting. Yes, you do. Come on, enjoy it, bro. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's what you get. Oh, look at him looking cute. Oh my god, why are they being dead? <laughs> Instantly revitalized. Yep, there they go. The princess is here. And she made a busting food. Just, I don't know what my demographic of country is here, but... Busting is something I say when like it's <laughs> and food is really good. It's busting. Maybe it's an old person thing. Maybe I'm getting too old now. I don't know. I'm not that old, all right? I'm 25. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe a lot of you gonna be like, whoa, look how old he is. The point of this is the food looks delicious. And look, even Suki saying thank you for the food. I like to see it. My God, bro, slow down. It's like me eating. She's so great, bro. She's here helping with the food so they get the proper nutrition. They're taking in turns to bow. There's a stranger among us. What the fuck? Why is this... Why is it showing that angle and the sound? What the fuck? Why is this so eerie? Is this because he... Just the way that echoes? Why is this so scary? Is it because he does the horror stuff, people were saying? No more of that, thank you. Daichi would get mad. Yeah. Is he saying Noya's a kid? A child? Oh. <laughs> he measures his spike there. 
Tanaka son. <laughs> oh, he's ready to just pick on him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I was like, who is that? There he is, Daddy Daichi. He's got to rein him in, bro. Also, I still don't know what the top comment is for the tattoo. Me recording this doesn't know. Me, who's uploaded the other videos, does know. That's a bit complicated for you. But I wonder what it was that on that video before. Hmm. You're stalling. Don't swing your arms. That's what I was saying about move your body. That was better. Making them run. Mm. You could do other fitness for volleyball rather than running, but it's still good. What? They already done their job? Man, they're on that grind, bro. Ah, oh, Hinata's got all this energy because he doesn't do his morning, like, 50-kilometer ride. Ah, oh, he is, he's stressed about picking people. I knew it, bro. Remember what I said? Hmm. Yep, this is what I was saying. It sucks for Suga, but it's the right decision for the team. Mm. I understand. You gotta do the team dynamic. Mm. It's so tough, bro. No, you're exactly right. Yeah. Oh, did it happen to him? I have to pause and I'm sorry. I find this the biggest judge of character. In a sport, maybe in other aspects of life as well, but especially when you're not picked as a starter, the majority of people will be so upset. And this is kind of what I spoke about last episode. You know, they'll complain to their teammates, oh, the coach didn't pick me, bro. That person sucks. I could do so much better. And they just complain and complain and complain. But the really good ones, the champions, see it, like, you always have to take responsibility. The best of the best will always take responsibility and be like, I could be training more, even though maybe sometimes they are better, but maybe they're not undeniably better so that they're chosen without any kind of, like, uh, like un uncertainty, right? And so the really good ones don't get upset about it. They will then support the team from the bench in the best way you can, you be the best teammate that you can be and you train even harder to earn a spot to play. And when people see that, even when it's like you've just got to put in the work, right? And someone will see it, the coach will see it, and that is when you will get to play. You don't sit back and cry and sulk about it. You put in the work and you be the best teammate that you can be. You've got to make the tough decisions, bro. Mm. You've got that's why you're the coach. You're not someone who's on the field amongst it. These two always racing, bro. Don't yell. <laughs> There's no need to yell at all. This man is a psychopath, bro. Where are you? Why are you running with your eyes closed? Who is this? Bro, this theme song? Just go says hello to the stranger. Bro, look at his eyes. Oh my god. We said we were going to see more animals. And when I saw the crows at the start, I was like, doesn't mean anything. And everyone told me that Karasuno was the crows. He's got cat eyes and there's a cat. These guys are going to be the cats. Bro, leave this man alone. You just met him. 
Look at him. I feel so bad for this guy. Oh, I thought he just assumed. <laughs> Hinnix is so friendly, but this guy's just like... Kozumi. Oh. Kozumi. Sorry if I say it wrong. Stop picking on me in the comments for saying it wrong. Kozumi Kenma. It's just so, like, outgoing. <laughs> this guy's so, like, de depresso. Like, oh, I just... Oh, I want to go to bed. There you go. I kind of just do it. Okay. And they probably can't do it without him. He encourages them to play? Oh, very different from Kageyama. <laughs> oh, interesting music. He's not very athletic and he's playing the setter. Nah, yeah, sun's up. It's like the Oikawa look. Ooh, don't put the sound there, bro. Nah, this guy is going to be good. He's going to be a demon. Kuro. What the fuck? This guy's looks sick. Strangers. Is this? Are they part of the team they're playing? Nekama. No, Suga came looking for him. I wonder if they're all looking. I feel like I just need to reflect quickly on what happened. So this guy plays for the other school. He said, we're pretty good now, I think. Which I feel like means they're really good. And this guy is like, he's saying, oh, I don't really want to play, but I just do it. I'm not very athletic, but he plays the setter role, which you have, you're the control tower. So you have to be usually athletic because you have to chase down the passes. Or your team is like, passes perfect every single time but nearly no team does that because then you can still be the control tower and like set and move the blockers because you don't have to be athletic hmm he had like an oikawa look which makes me immediately like what's up brah you you causing trouble here Kenma. Bells going off. Okay, that makes sense. He can't really stand by himself yet. But you take what you can do. Be the best at it. Mmm. Mmm, see? I'll say... I hope it fires him up and that he'll find a way to be better. This is... This is them. He was saying people talk shit. Nekoma, it is. It's the backbone. He's our brain. And our heart. The control tower. Interesting. Bro, those guys got caught talking smack about him. Ooh, Kageyama and Suga. 
I know you guys said it's just a half-time thing, but I, I seem to think they show the characters in there that they're next going to focus on. I don't know. Canned coffee. We don't have that in Australia. Man, you have to be a big person to say that. Have no insecurity. And the piano. Man, that takes a lot to say that. feels there bro luckily this food looks freaking delicious I had Chinese food last night even though I'm going to China soon it was kind of similar to this it's just Asian food I'm putting it all in one big bubble distracting myself from how sad that just made me feel because we bulking mmm <laughs> Because that anxiety is probably gone. He's got it off his mind. Doesn't have to hide his feelings. Mm, they're brothers, bro. Are the dogs out? What's he drawing? It's like, is it a tack? You can't see me, I'm off camera right now. <laughs> it looks like they're like different attacks. It's like half a court. Is he like strategizing ideas? I just like spitballing ideas. I know I'm going to find out eventually. <laughs> Who we got? Hey, look, I know how to pronounce this now and I'm not going to try and pronounce it. It's Daichi because everyone shredded me in the comments. Hinata, nice. Tanaka, Kagiyama. All right, so we're starting with him. Nishinoya, yup. Suki and Asahi. Okay, it's a strong starting team, bro. Look at us, he looking there all cute. He's nervous. Mm, he's on the bench. Yep, that's why you have a practice match. Mm, still going to be tough. Mm. He knows exactly how he's feeling. Hey, that's what I said, bro. That is how it is. And if you're a good, if you're a true competitor, you know that's how it is. Look, here's another one who's like honest about it. That's right. No one's safe, bro. Throw the first part. Hmm, <laughs> it's but it, bro, they're so mature. No shit up. Hmm. Yeah, we've never heard anything from this guy before now. Or this guy. Any of these three.
I hate that word for fun. Yep. But look, they came back. That takes a lot. Mmm. They realized they did want to win. Ah, oh, there you go, bro. That's tough. That's all that matters. Mmm. Oh, this is great. When stuff like that does happen, you know, places can be a place of just for fun. And I'll rightfully admit that I hate that. I can't play casual sport at all because I'm just too competitive and I hate people who take it casually, which is not always great. I can admit that. And I know there's probably a lot of people watching who like to play casual sport, which is better than not playing at all, right? I think it's great when people get involved and you have to start somewhere. But I hate the attitude of not trying your hardest by saying that it's just for fun. Right, and when you get someone come in who tries to push you to be your hardest, to play your hardest, do your best and improve, that's when you get those people sieved out and they leave. And they obviously left, and because volleyball's so addictive, bro, what I'm going through right now, you leave and realize you still wanna play, and if you're a true competitor, you realize, hey, I can improve, and I can play at this bigger level if I just don't let it hurt my pride and just move past that, and continue going. Um, so yeah, sorry that I don't like casual sport. I hope more of you play volleyball and you tell me all about it. Mm. We're all doing just, they're all doing just standing floats. Ooh, they got uniforms. Ooh. Oh, he's number 10 now. I thought he was five. All right, that Libro jersey looks sick. Yeah. <laughs> he's so, like, excited by anything. Yep. Good, they're explaining it. Same number as Messi. So competitive, bro. What is this music right now? Oh, they gave him the same number, bro. Ooh, that's sick. I like they did that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just what to say to stir him up, bro. Who's five? Ooh. These guys are going to be demons, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying about Kenma. They're not good at attacking, but they're really good at defense. Bro, they must be good. Don't put my sound with them. Mm, see, defense wins championship. The pass went straight to him. Bro can just be his little, like, sleepy, lazy self. Mm, they just pass everything. If the ball doesn't hit the ground, the other team can't score. No more horror scenes, bro. <laughs> How does he know about that? Now everyone knows about Kyoko. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. So dramatic. <laughs> Bro, he's so, like, crazy. He's like their version of Tanaka. <laughs> Yuck! Don't do that with your feet, bro. Put those carpet grippers away. Yeah, 
Is it a shock? Yeah, because what, he cares about it? He's usually, like, laid back? So this guy's like their leader. I forgot his name. I think it started with a K. I can't remember. No, uh, is he gonna get super nervous? He's meditating. They're all good teammates. He's going to learn to stand by himself. <laughs> They're always competing, bro. <laughs> always. And Daichi's always there to catch him, bro. Oh, got the music. Oh, the stare off. Look at, <laughs> Look at Tanaka. They got the shading on his eyes to show he's like. And he's staring down the other guy who's got the shading as well. No one else has it. No way that's where it ends, bro. Come on. So the next episode is the match. God damn it. Look, bro, like I said in the last episode that I really like these ones that aren't so much the big packed action games that they're like, they're here showing us the character development, right? And getting to know the characters better. Like we met these second years in this episode that like we've never ever even had anything to do with before and there they are like reinforcing the themes of good teamwork of being supportive even if you aren't that starting player and they brought up what i spoke about that even if you aren't picked it's a sport it's not a right for you to play and only the strong sorry stay on the court and if you want to practice 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 and go up and take one of their spots no one's safe so I love that they addressed it like that and not someone being like mad and salty that they didn't get picked because that's what happens in the real world like 95% of the time. We had, we met uh, the other team, Nekoma, of which seems really interesting and they were, they're kind of like what I was saying, how it seems by what the coach said, you know, they're not super crazy strong on attack, but they just are relentless on defense and they don't let the ball fall. So they can just attack and attack and attack and the other team's going to make a mistake and they just keep getting the ball up, which is what I said that, you know, like the ball doesn't hit the ground, you cannot lose. But I'm so, so hyped just to see how this game goes, to see them continue to improve as a team together. You know, they've been there, they're working on their passing and they're going to have this new practice match with this really strong team. So I'm excited to see if... They can beat this team that Karasuno's never ever beat before. I hope that our boys can finally rise up and like break that rivalry, break the curse. There hasn't been as much Suki hate. I feel like as of recently in the last couple of episodes, he's been hiding from me. He's been like copping it. So he's now kind of like hiding away in there, not doing much, not saying much so that I don't get angry at him. But I'm keen, he's starting. So I'm hopefully see some good blocks from him, some tall hits. Um, in this next game but look i'm super super grateful for you guys being here again watching this here with me guiding me through the journey it means the absolute well to me and i hope that you enjoyed today's episode and that whatever you did today i know you gave your absolute best and i'm super super proud of you so thank you guys so much for being here i will see you in the next reaction and let's roll the super super sick outro music all right peace
first class ticket to the top, no 